Okay, let's go. The Bataan Memorial Death March is to honor the Bataan Death March, which happened in 1942, when after the U.S. troops had surrendered in the Philippines, they were forced to march 65 miles from one POW camp to another in harsh conditions where the Japanese would torture them. Uh, they would have lack of sleep, water. All they had was themselves, and the U.S. couldn't do anything about it. After completing the march, I felt a sense of pride that we had done it as a team and stuck together. Um, just us pushing each other was very motivating and to finish together um, really was an awesome moment for me. A great feeling because you felt a part of something bigger than yourself. So you weren't just representing you, you're representing your family, your school, this, the city and the valley. So it was an awesome feeling to know that we had a lot of support behind us and we were going to try our best to represent them. So I was thrown into the 18-mile uh, mark instead of starting off at 10 miles. Uh, and it, it was just really a game of endurance. I was uh, pushing each other and walking alongside one, uh, one another and uh, really just raising morale. It was, uh, and in the end, doing that made it like a walk in the park. You could say. Getting started at first, it was a little bit difficult. Some of us actually started way before the others. We started uh, working out in the summer, in June, and the, re the rest of the team started our road marches in September. Uh, we had practices Monday and Tuesday during the, during the week, and then Sunday were our road marches, and they were a little bit hard in the beginning, but I think as we kept going, it got easier. After the march, we found out that we placed 10th in the JRTC division, and we placed second in the Military Light Division, and also we were recognized in City Hall and we got a proclamation. 